Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Deep Sea Mutant Snake. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere inside a mysterious island, a huge corporation is doing illegal experiments within its factories. The owner, John, has decided to visit the laboratory personally after continuous failures to produce the perfect biological weapon that can also follow human command. What's even worse, the government is also beginning to investigate their illegal project, making the owner decide to get rid of all the research immediately. The man eventually arrives in front of his main experiment and quickly revealing that it's a gigantic serpent that towers over all the people. However, the monster does not recognize the humans as the masters, which forces John to make the ultimate decision of destroying his own creation. The scientists begin using the computers to inject poisons into the giant creature, while all the workers outside are burning the countless serpents by using the flamethrowers. To their surprise, the injections did not kill the enormous monster, but somehow made it even stronger as it roars furiously towards the people. The massive animal begins awakening the other snakes and forcing the creatures into a frenzy as they all try to break out from the laboratory. This causes the people to try and burn the giant serpent as they take the chance to escape from the area. At the same time, the numerous snakes inside the pits begin to fight back and killing all the people by throwing them down as well. John continues escaping with his two bodyguards while commanding his soldiers to begin firing at the resource researchers to eliminate all the witnesses. After committing their heinous crimes, the people begin to sense that something is wrong as one of the experimental creatures manages to break out. The animal quickly begins killing all the soldiers by knocking them around like ragdolls and biting them horrifically to death, while the massive serpent starts breaking free as well. John eventually makes it outside as he rushes towards the helicopters, while his bodyguards stay behind alongside the soldiers to eliminate all the creatures. The people begin heading back into the forest to kill the animals, not realizing that the creatures have become almost indestructible while quickly managing to overrun the entire base. The soldiers eventually make it into the jungle as they continue trying to eliminate all the mutant serpents while the men are quickly killed one by one. This only leaves the two women to fend for themselves while all the enemies are quickly approaching them to devour their flesh. The girls are eventually forced to fight by using using their knives as they run out of bullets, but are quickly attacked by a giant snake that severely injures one of them. The other girl sees that the giant serpent is about to kill her friend, and rushes in immediately to stab the monster right on the back. However, the creature is clearly too strong as it throws the woman away using tremendous force. The girl eventually recovers but sees that her friend is already dead, while the giant snake manages to quickly grab onto her and pulls her into the air. This causes the the woman to scream hopelessly as the monstrous creature devours her in a single bite. Surprisingly, a couple of soldiers manage to make it out as they quickly get onto the boat while trying to escape the island, but is quickly killed by the serpent inside the water. One year later, a cruise ship is sailing inside the ocean where the people are partying continuously like there's no tomorrow, not realizing that this prophecy may actually be true. What's even worse, a mysterious figure has already turned the ship off of course and killing the captain at the same time, while all the people are clueless to what's about to happen. Very soon, a giant shadow begins to appear under the ocean, as the people start noticing countless serpents everywhere inside the ship that quickly kills the unfortunate victims. It turns out that the vessel is being surrounded by thousands of snakes that came from the ocean, and the creatures begin attacking the humans while killing them one by one. This causes chaos amongst the people as they try desperately to run for their lives. At the same time, a passenger called Ty is here on vacation with his girlfriend Marley, but they quickly realize that something is wrong as they hear the screams coming their way. The people are forced to run immediately while all the victims are being poisoned to death as the serpents have completely infiltrated every corner of the ship. Ty runs into the cafeteria and tries to warn the people about the danger, but his efforts are clearly too late as the serpents are quickly able to make it inside 
died as well. Very soon, an even larger snake appears and begins hunting down the people like praise. Tai quickly runs the other way alongside the few survivors that are still alive, but they're immediately attacked by the giant snake that was following them this whole time. This gives the people no other choice but to run towards the rooms and barely escaping the serpent's attack. They eventually makes it inside the engine room while the main character conjures up a plan. Apparently, he noticed that the giant snake was blind and decides to use the heat and noise inside the room to confuse the creature. Very soon, the people are forced into a corner as they pray that the animal doesn't sense their presence. The humans try to remain quiet and managing to stay invisible towards the creature while causing it to slowly maneuver away. However, the ship suddenly stops and all the noises are quickly turned off as one of the girl's alarms began sounding off at the same time. This immediately alerts the serpent towards the humans while the people are forced to run once again as the animal chases them closely behind. Luckily, Tai is able to fight back and swings the axe onto the enemy's head while his girlfriend begins spraying the fire extinguisher onto the serpent as well. This causes the creature tremendous pain which allows the people to temporarily escape but they soon realize that the creature is not willing to give up so easily. With no other choice, the people are forced into the cold room and lock themselves inside as they try to hide away from the giant predator that's knocking from the outside. This makes them realize that they're completely trapped as they must now choose to either freeze to death or be eaten by the giant snake. What's even worse, a passenger begins bleeding from his nose and Marley quickly realizes that the man has been poisoned and is sure to die without any medical help. This forces Ty to conjure up a plan as he decides to open the door and lure the snake away, but his friend Lee refuses to let him sacrifice himself. Before their arguments can finish, the sick man decides to run towards the doors while attracting the animal's attention towards himself and yelling for the others to run. The people have no choice but to escape immediately while the man quickly closes the doors and locking the creature inside as he saves everyone else. The humans eventually decide that they need to escape the oceans and this means that they have to somehow restart the ship. The people head towards the navigation room immediately but quickly notices that the captains have all died from human injuries and leaving the boat without any pilots. Luckily, the people are eventually eventually able to start the vessel by turning the massive engines which allows them to continue sailing and leaving this area at the same time. Very soon, the passengers begin noticing that they're heading towards an island while thinking that they're going to be rescued. However, they quickly bump into something that stops the vessel completely and managing to cover all their windows. This causes the people to head out immediately as they try to figure out what's blocking their ship. The main character takes the flare gun and shoots it into the air but is quickly stunned in disbelief as a building sized monster appears in front of everyone. The creature roars furiously towards the tiny humans which makes the people run immediately to avoid being killed by the giant monster. The survivors quickly decide that they have to abandon ship as Tai tells the people to escape onto a lifeboat while he runs back to distract the creature. The main character rushes towards the engine room and begins breaking all the gas pipes while pouring gasoline everywhere inside the area. Very soon, the people all manage to get onto the lifeboat while they stare hopelessly at their friend who's fighting the monster all by himself. The creature eventually begins squeezing the ship and crushing the structures inside while Tai realizes that his time is up. The man quickly pulls out a flare gun and fires it towards the sky which eventually drops on board and causing a huge explosion as a result that immediately sinks the entire ship. The people watch hopelessly while thinking that their friend has died, but luckily Tai was able to make it out just in time while the people quickly pull him into safety. The next morning, when the humans eventually wake up, they realize that they have finally made it onto the island. The survivors quickly march onto the land, thinking that they have escaped the mutant serpents, but what they don't realize is that they have walked into something even more dangerous. Very soon, the main character begins hearing a strange noise as he realizes that something is wrong and tells tells everyone that they have to leave this area immediately. However, the man only walks into more of the strange rocks while a giant tentacle monster slowly creeps out and snatches the human victim away right into its shell. The humans realize that they're in serious danger as the monsters continue devouring the people like a human buffet which causes everyone to run for their lives.
lives. Surprisingly, before the people are able to get out, they quickly see that the monsters are somehow retreating and leaving the humans alone. Tai realizes that the creatures must be attracted to the blood, as they only kill the people with injuries. This allows the humans to escape from the area, as they venture deeper into the forest while eventually arriving into what appears to be a military camp. The survivors are able to find a transmitter while quickly grabbing onto all the gears that they can as they plan to go to a vantage point to broadcast their signals for help. The people continue exploring into the unknown as they eventually arrive into a dense jungle, but Tai quickly begins sensing that something is moving inside the shadows. Very soon, a survivor begins to notice a horrific sight while all the people look back in fear and sees that the man has been impaled by something very large. It turns out that they're being attacked by a giant spider that towers over the people and killing the humans like a barbecue skewer. This causes the people to hide immediately behind the trees while the others fire furiously towards the monster, but their attacks are not effective at all. The creature eventually stabs another survivor and begins pulling him up, but the man decides to sacrifice himself by using the grenade and blowing up in front of the spider. This allows the people a chance to escape while the giant creature is forced to run away from the forest as well. The survivors eventually decide to continue forwards and quickly arrives into a giant facility that used to be a laboratory. Very soon, they're able to find the entrance of the building and cautiously wanders inside while discovering countless documents of experiments on the mutant serpents. The humans continue venturing deeper into the underground tunnel where surprisingly the power of the building is still working. The survivors eventually wanders into a room, and luckily they're able to find a big storage of food and drinks, which allows them to survive the night and eventually seek help as well. After finally having their first meal in days, the people quickly fall asleep, not realizing that one of the survivors is secretly sneaking around. Tai eventually wakes up as well and quickly sees that the man is missing, which makes him go look for the survivor immediately. He quickly searches into the underground tunnel once again as he prepares for the worst up ahead, but the man he's looking for is on the second floor and stealing the lab's research. At the same time, Lee has woken up as well, not realizing that his friend is walking straight into danger. Very soon, the main character manages to find the exit on the other side and quickly walks into an area that's covered by fog. The man begins hearing a terrible noise as he tries to see what's ahead, only to realize that the giant serpent who had attack them on the ocean is still alive. The monster launches directly towards the man, but Tai is quickly saved by his friend just in time, who begins shooting furiously at the giant serpent and trying to lure the creature away. However, the monster eventually comes back for the main character and tries to devour the man by using its jaws. Luckily, Tai manages to dodge the attack just in time, which completely blocks off the exit, but this also forces him to leave his friend behind as well. The man eventually eventually goes back to his people to deliver the terrible news, but to their surprise, the transmitter has picked up a signal at the same time. This allows the people to call for help immediately, but the humans realize that there's no escape if the giant snake is there to stop them. With no other choice, Tai eventually conjures up a plan to destroy the mutant snake, as he tells the people to build a bunch of traps to make the monster bleed as much as possible. He plans to lure the giant serpent towards the cliff, and making it jump down into the horde of tentacle monsters which will kill their enemy for them. The next morning, the people begin preparing for what's about to come as they secretly hide behind the trees while the main character is paying respect to his friend. However, the suspicious man quickly takes out a knife as he tries to kill Tai but is quickly countered by the main character who knocks him flying across the field. Tai demands to know the man's true identity and is quickly revealed that he was actually a doctor who used to work here in the lab. The scientist was able to escape the execution from the soldiers, but eventually decided to come back by sabotaging the ship, as he plans to continue experimenting on the mutant creatures. The doctor believes that this will greatly benefit humanity, but Tai only thinks that the man has completely lost his mind. At the same time, the other survivors are able to find the giant snake, and begins trying to lure the creature towards the spikes that they built. This eventually causes the monster to run over the trap as it eventually appears behind the scientist as well. Tai sees the giant monster and quickly runs the other way, while leaving the doctor to be devoured by his own creation.
Russian. The main character desperately rushes away from the serpent as the monster chases him closely behind inside the forest. He eventually takes the chance and throws the bottles that are filled with blood directly onto the beach which quickly triggers the tentacle monsters. Tai runs desperately towards the giant cliff while the creature is trying to devour him, but the man is able to jump off just in time and evade the serpent's attack. The main character manages to eventually grab onto a tree that saves him from the fall, while the giant creature crashes directly into the monster's lair. The tentacle creatures quickly notice the serpent's wounds and begins attacking the animal altogether while stranding the giant snake onto the ground. The countless monsters eventually manages to drink the serpent's blood, which causes the snake to scream in agony and eventually falling down to its doom. Sometimes later, the people are waiting peacefully on the beach, and Tai is eventually able to see a ship heading their way as they look happily into the sunset towards their rescue. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.